Okay, here we are in the uh, Tuileries Gardens, which is all that is left of the Tuileries Palace. Now, the Tuileries Palace is where the royal family were placed by the Parisian mob when they were taken back from Versailles to be back in Paris, so the people of Paris could keep a closer eye on them. Um, and they were basically put under effective house arrest in the Tuileries Palace. It hadn't been used for many years, it had been empty for many years, so it was a very comfortable place to be. Um, and really, Marie Antoinette specifically, she really didn't like staying there, mainly because um, because of, it was a large palace, so lots of workmen supply roads and routes going through the edges of the palace. And so even if she walked out on a balcony or opened a window, couldn't side hurling a boost at her. So she really didn't like that. Um, the other thing was also that uh, this was the scene where, because uh, Mary Antoinette hated it so much here, they tried to leave. Um, Louis asked the National Assembly if they could leave. They said, no, uh, you've got to stay here in Paris. Uh, and so they secretly tried to escape to Varennes. Now, when that happened, they were obviously found out and brought back here. And that was really what sealed, I think, their fate. After that, it was clear that they didn't want uh, to support the revolution and they didn't support any new, con new constitution that was being written. And from that point onwards, it looked like they were going to lose their heads. Um, and but nevertheless, uh, the revolutionary uh, people of Paris had to storm the Tuileries Paris to get the king uh, to take him uh, away and, and put him under even closer arrest later on. So quite a scene of some, quite some uh, violence here as well. So yeah, here we have it, the Tuileries Gardens and the last semi-luxurious uh, address of Louis and his family.